rock that was interesting as shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. It's a Ford Ranger. I do yeah. not remember this much gravel being on this road the last time we were up here. Oh, uh, well, you know. Of course, that's been, what, two summers ago? Duh. It was whenever I first got my bike. So. Yeah, it had to have been two summers ago. I was on the FZ09, so. Yeah. This is a fun little local road in uh, Virginia. It's uh, Orchard Gap. Connects to Ward Gap. If, uh, you're ever up on the parkway near Meadows of Dan, Squirrel Spur, over near Fancy Gap, you should uh, shoot over here and check it out. It's nice, tight, technical. Road's a little rough, um, you know, real spirited riding. It's not the best, but it's still technical and fun. That was the uh, the intent was to try to get a, a nice wintry picture on the overlook. Didn't work out for us, so did it. No, uh, I'll go back down here to the ride and take a picture. Nice. Yeah, this is one of those roads where you can look down and see the rest of it. Pretty little house right here on the cliff. And my key switch has been being a kind of janky, so we ended up having to roll start mine because I left my key switch on. But really didn't have a choice. I mean, I could have turned it off, but there's always that chance that I'll just get stranded because my freaking key switch won't turn. I'm just going to have to buy a new one. Yeah, and of course, you know, trying to avoid being stranded with a key switch and I uh, almost got stranded due to a dead battery. Yeah. Well, hopefully it'll charge it enough up enough where I can at least turn the bike off and... It'll yeah, start again. We stop up here. We'll find us. Uh, we'll find us somewhere with a little hill to stop on. That way, you can just roll off of it if you need to. Yeah. But yeah, that was. Uh, I mean, I, I don't regret anything. I'll be honest with you. No, I mean, we tried it. We tried to go across the whole. I mean, well, look. To be to be fair to both of us, <clears throat> every other little section we went past was just slush. Okay. Correct. So I had no issues. That with right that. there, that right there was solid ice, and we did not know it until it was too late. <laughs> I knew it about the time my ass was sliding across it. I knew something was up because I heard your bike rev, and I was like, "What the?" F and of course, I look in my mirror and lose focus, and then I go down. <clears throat> yeah, well, I'm the dummy that told you to go in front of me. Nah, it's fine, man. Of course, if you'd have been behind me, you might have. You know, done a panic break grab, but who knows? <clears throat> well, it, we're at least we got out of it, and we're both fine. It could have been worse. Both okay. Bikes are okay. Minimal damage. My crappy ass front pumpkins were already cracked and taped up, so I need a set of those anyways. <laughs> Fuck, that was interesting as shit. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yeah, as soon as I get a signal, I'm going to text my wife and let her know. <laughs> just just because, hey, your dummy husband tried to go play in the snow on a motorcycle like he's 16 years old again. Hey, well, like I said, man, we're both okay, so it's all good. Hey, I'm having fun. Who cares? Yeah, right. We didn't get hurt. Whatever. Ford Ranger. My Pioneer's still on? Yep. Yeah, that thing ain't going anywhere, man. You fucking ratchet strap the shit out of it. Yeah. I'll bend that bracket back out one day this week. I ain't worried about it. Nah, yeah, you'll be, we'll be all right for the rest of the day riding. Oh, yeah. Besides, you already said that you uh, trust those ratchet straps with your life, so. I pulled. <laughs> 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 if anybody needs any ratchet straps, nice little O'Reilly's plug here. 
O'Reilly's brand ratchet straps. I think they're 20 foot long. Um, I don't remember the weight rating. We bought them when we were taking a trip to Dill's Gap to strap down some bikes. I joked about, I'm not sure how secure I feel with them because they were like $15. Well, rewind about three weeks ago, there was a really foggy night when I was leaving work and a, uh, an older gentleman had ran through a stop sign and crashed off into a ditch. And I stopped and helped him out. I felt bad for him and uh, he was really shook up. So when the cops got there, I offered to pull him out. So uh, I thought I had a tow strap in the back of the Yukon. Turns out all I had was these $15 ratchet straps. Well, lo and behold, me and the cop both laughing at it because we thought it was going to fail. I hooked the ratchet strap to the Yukon in this guy's car, and I pulled him out of the ditch with <laughs> a $15 O'Reilly's ratchet strap. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, uh, I, it, it blew me away because uh, it was, uh, I think it was a Kia Optima. It was the, the bigger of the Kia sedans, whichever one it is. So, I mean, not a heavy, heavy car, but, you know, still probably at least 4,000 pounds. Right. Yeah, I'd say uh, I'd say those ratchet straps are, are good buy for sure. Absolutely. And for whatever reason, I just happened to throw two in the trunk today before I left. Well, it's a good thing you bought them so you can strap your bag back on. I mean, it'd be different if we had you know a tool we could have bent it back with, but we don't really right. have anything with us. And I started to throw a little toolkit in the trunk, and I was like, nah, I don't <laughs> need all that. Something like a. Um, I don't know, one of the bigger ratchets or something probably would have worked to bend it back out. Yeah, I've got a little 3 8 ratchet in there. Um, I guess I tossed it in there when I put the ram out on the bar, not thinking about it. But uh, it just, it didn't have quite enough ass to it to bend it out, so. Yeah, it's not even moving whatsoever as far as I can see, so we're, you're probably good for the rest of the ride home. Yeah. Or for the rest of the ride or whatever. Oh, I'll tell you this. Um, my Bart Busters did a hell of a job uh, when I went down a little bit ago. Keep yeah, we'll have to have me a set of those. Yeah, they and did it, a, it didn't hit my bar end. Actually, it did. It's a little loose. But uh, They did a hell of a job actually keeping, um, you know, what didn't touch as far as right. my crash bars and the plastics or whatever right. off the ground. So. Yeah, I don't know how it didn't touch your crash bars. I guess the pannier held it up. Yeah, the, the, actually, whenever I went to pick my bike up, the rear wheel was actually just completely off the ground because it was laying on the pannier. So, gotcha. But, and I was, I was kind of worried that maybe I would have might have cracked one of the boxes or something, but they're fine. Yeah, I was worried about mine, but mine seems to be solid, too. That's good because uh, these big boxes are not cheap. No, yeah, I bought mine to use, so I really ain't worried about getting scratches and shit on them. I ain't really worried about getting scratches on it because it's going to happen if we ride. Right. I mean, <laughs> this is... Ah, here's our road. Okay. Been a while. Like you said earlier, been a while since we <clears throat> came this way. Yes, it has. I don't regret it, though. That was freaking fun, even though we both had a tumble. <laughs> <laughs> well, check that off the bucket list for sure. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm, I'm, I'm done with the snow riding, so... Yeah, two wheels anyways. Yeah. Yeah, we can come back up here in your Yukon if you want to, anytime. Woo. Definitely glad we got to finally go out and, and ride though, because we've had these bikes for, what, almost a month now and hadn't really got a chance to ride together? Yeah, a little over a month. <clears throat> 